So my question for you is, since you're performing tonight, do you have a, like, do you think about the stage differently here in Madrid than you did back in Serbia? Oh, for sure. Well, first thing, I don't have the, the big rock. No, oh, oh, no big <laughs> rock. Oh, yeah, of course. No, I'm doing that, like, mm -hmm. today, unfortunately. So I guess the the, the, the movements are just going to be more well, quick and standing. I, I look at it more as a performance for the audience, mm. uh, as it's not, like, um, I guess, television set, mm. as the, the performance of Malmet will be. And more connection with the audience again because in Malve we can't really like come to the audience. Oh no! Them. I guess that's what they told me. I don't know. I hope I don't make that mistake. But you know, I can just like enjoy uh, the actual crowd and feel the energy. We actually like people. Nice. So, um, the international audiences from outside of Europe are now familiar with your song Ramonda. What? Can you tell the uh, international folks about the story? What is uh, Lila Ramonda? What's yeah. the significance? So Ramonda is a flower. It's a very, very beautiful flower. It's a very rare flower. And it symbolizes hope. Um, because you know, we call it a Serbia, Serbia phoenix, uh, meaning it rises from the ashes. When it's totally dried out and, and dead, if you can say it, just a few drops of water are enough to bring it back to life most instantly. So it synthesizes for me uh, something amazing that, you know, when you're struggling, the world is struggling, anybody individually is struggling, that maybe those few drops, metaphorically, meaning, I don't know, just believe in yourself, and not just believe in yourself, you've got to do something about it, of course. But it can, it can bring you up from something that is, it seems almost impossible. Wow, that's so poetic. Yeah. I hope so. I don't know what I said. <laughs> no, I completely understood. And uh, my final question for you. So, um, your song has reached outside of Eurovision. There are fans of you in the United States, Mexico, Philippines, the Koreas, all over the world. And so, my press, we want to know, do you have a message for those fans from outside of Eurovision? Yeah, uh, a message for the fans all over the world and for the people just in general, you know, just... Uh, just love each other and and share everything beautiful with each other and i don't know and it, enjoy enjoy life wow so beautiful thank you so much thank you. best of luck tonight and yeah